Each year, 115,000 babies are born in New Jersey. 95% of the time, their umbilical cord bud, which is a rich source of stem cells, is discarded as medical waste. A new state law is designed to change that. NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler has the story. If a woman wants to save her baby's cord blood, the decision must be made before he's born. Otherwise, the umbilical cord is thrown out and with it potentially life-saving stem cells that can be used to treat 70 diseases. It's mostly cancers, leukemias, uh, strong anemias, uh, genetic disorders. Since November, there's been a law here in New Jersey requiring doctors and hospitals to inform expectant mothers about the benefits of cord blood banking. The evidence is there and the statistics are showing that the likelihood is that one in about 150 people will use the cord blood by the age of 50. Dr. Free A. Emerson, an OBGYN in Hackensack, thinks banking cord blood is a moral imperative. In our National Marrow Registry program, we have 70 percent of patients not able to find a match at all, and those patients will die, and we are continuing to throw placenta and umbilical cord blood into the garbage. There are two ways to save it, private banking for your own family and public donation. In New Jersey, public banking Banking is done through community blood services in Allendale. There is no cost. It doesn't cost you a thing. Uh, we bear the brunt of all of the expense. Christina O'Keefe, who has two young children, opted for public donation when Kylie was born two months ago. Felt selfish to keep it for something that we may never use and that somebody could use. Private companies like Court Blood Registry charge a collection and processing fee that ranges from $1,500 to $2,000, as well as an annual storage fee of about $150. Is the baby's hands? And her feet? Yeah. Christine Von Ness, who has three children, says private banking is worth it. The match would be much greater for us and our family. Um, if the chance ever came down to needing it, and it's a weight lifted off my shoulders, it's an insurance for them that I know is there. Right now, there are 5,000 units stored in the New Jersey Cord Blood Bank that are available for public use, but this facility says it needs many more, especially from minority donors. Right now, we only have 26% Hispanic, 4% uh, African American, and 4% Asian. Sounding beautiful. Women who opt to save or donate their baby's cord blood are required to bring a collection kit to the hospital. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Allendale.